Și vorbim tot de tehnologia ChatGPT, care nu este folosită doar pentru a scrie eseuri. Cercetătorii în domeniul inteligenței artificiale din Texas experimentează cu citirea minților. Deși tehnologia este departe de a fi aplicată în viața de zi cu zi, oferă o privire asupra modului în care companiile ar putea dezvolta o asistență virtuală mai robustă pentru a ajuta pacienții, precum și consumatorii într-un viitor nu foarte îndepărtat. Daniel Sullivan de la CNN a fost cobai într-un experiment fascinant de inteligență artificială și iată reportajul său. You're reading people's minds. So we don't like to use the term mind reading. These neuroscientists at the University of Texas in Austin say they've made a major breakthrough. They've figured out how to translate brain activity into words using artificial intelligence. These are different images. Earlier this month, they published a paper explaining how they had research volunteers listen to audio clips while having their brains scanned by an fMRI machine. Over time, AI algorithms, the very same tech that's behind ChatGPT, were able to figure out what the volunteers were listening to just by watching their brains. It is just crazy. You can watch how blood flows through the brain mm -hmm. and using AI and GBT and everything else translated into words. Yeah, it's wild that this works when you put it that way. Thumbs up, Tony. To test it all out, Professor Alexander Hoot and I had our brain scanned while listening to parts of the Wizard of Oz audiobook. Chinip, I only had a brain. Big brain. Like obnoxiously big. All right, Danny, we have a picture of your brain. I so, have a brain. Yep, it looks good. I was scanned first, followed by Professor Hoot, capturing images of the changes in our brain's blood flow as we listened to the words from the audiobook and showing how our brains interpreted those words. When she had finished her meal and was about to go back to the road of yellow brick, she was startled to hear a deep groan nearby. You can see that they're getting recordings every two seconds while he's listening to a story. We will feed this data through our decoder and try to predict the story that he's currently listening to. The next morning, the results were in. So it gets some things right. So this like was about to go back, was about to head back. It completely misses some things like mm -hmm. the road of yellow brick versus school. But then it gets this, uh, this nice kind of example. So she hears something and then instead of a deep groan nearby, it said a strange voice calling out to me. It means sure. something related, even if it's not exactly the right words. The reason it wasn't able to decode my brain was because the technology currently needs people to sit in the fMRI machine for more than 16 hours, so the AI models can train on specific people's brains. Are we gonna live in a world where, you know, I can walk by somebody on the street and they'll be able to hold something up to my head and they'll know what I'm thinking? Currently, we're very far from that. That might also never be possible. We can't completely rule it out, but as far as we know, that certainly won't be possible in the next few decades.